Hey everybody, Crystal Banway here, and I had some fun yesterday. I got invited by one of the local home builders here in the Phoenix area to participate in a real estate agent focus group where they invited like eight to 10 real estate agents to come and chat with them for a while. And they said they'd give us lunch and as it turns out a gift certificate and you can totally buy two hours of my time for a sandwich and the promise of a new pair of summer shoes any day. Now, to be very honest with you, I had no idea what a focus group would do, but I figured they'd let us know, which they did. They set us in a room, a moderator of two of her pals who worked for the home builder, and they wanted us to describe the submarkets in Phoenix. Submarkets? What, what is that? Okay, in a nutshell, they wanted to just tell us where the good neighborhoods are. <laughs> Been through this before. You know I can't answer that question, right? But here's how they phrased it. Is, is when you talk about a city, are there parts of the city that are distinguishable from other parts of the city? Okay, that seems pretty innocent. Like Scottsdale could be considered North Scottsdale, Central Scottsdale, or South Scottsdale. Phoenix, of course, has lots of different pockets. Belmar, Arcadia, Sunny Slope. A lot of people ask about Sunny Slope. So geographic Graphically, they wanted us to map that out. Anyways, we mapped it all out. We drew lots of lines all over this map of the Metro Phoenix area. And then, yeah, they asked us to rank them in terms of prestige. For example, Paradise Valley would be the poster child of a highly prestigious community. And I'm not gonna tell you who came in dead last because that just wouldn't be fair, would it? It was actually pretty fun just hanging around with some really experienced agents. I mean, real estate is totally a business where it's natural selection. You don't cut it, you're out. The hang around with producing agents that have been in the business for 20 years was awesome. I was like the new kid on the block with my eight years of experience. Well, we answered all their questions and then they said, hey, do you guys have any questions? Of course we did. Somebody asked, hey, are you guys gonna build more homes? Cause we totally need more inventory right now in the Valley. And I guess they're trying, but all the municipalities, they laid off everybody so they can't get any permits. But then someone finally asked the question that's like the elephant in the room when you sit down with home builders and real estate agents together. Hey, home builder, when the buyer that I've been working with for six months is out on a Sunday drive and happens to wander into one of your model home centers and decides they maybe want to buy one of your houses, could you find it in your heart to let me represent them still so they're not walking in there alone? This has been a point of contention between the home builders and the real estate community for quite some time. Now listen, I have nothing against home builders. I think they're awesome. I know some agents that work for home builders and they're great. But it's just the way it is, you know? If you as a buyer walk into the model home center and you don't request representation, if you're not with your agent, then you're in there alone. And remember what I just told you, why I was there with those people. They have tons of people that work in the home building companies whose job it is to figure out how to get you to buy their house and not the guy down the street's house and to spend more money doing it. That's a lot different than the resale community where you're just dealing with Joe Blow homeowner. And here in Arizona, every buyer deserves representation. They've changed laws to make that so. Back in the, in the old days, all of the agents worked for the seller in one fashion or another. So you were in there by yourself. It's a big deal and it's something you probably don't do very often. And so you deserve somebody watching your back. Because when you're buying a new home is if you don't request representation, you're in there alone. And those guys know what they're doing. So my suggestion to you is if you're thinking about buying a new home, let your agent know that you that that's what you're something you're considering and go in there together. Me personally, I love looking at model homes. Call me anytime, I'll totally go with you. And you don't even have to buy me a sandwich. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. You know where to find me, Kristen at hereinphoenix.com. That's where, make it a great day.